Hey guys, welcome Behind the Wire. We've got some calving updates for you. We were just gonna go through the cows and the calves and see how everybody's doing out there, kind of update you on how everything's going out there. But first, we just had a calf born right in the backyard. Right behind the wire, in fact. Oh, buddy, here you go. Oh, thank goodness, because your mom just ran off with another calf. So I had just finished eating dinner and was about to go head out and go start fencing. I looked out here and we had a little calf. And the little buddy's ready to go little heifer calf but the poor little thing you were in a sack and you couldn't breathe in there so we got to get your mama and her mama is clear out there claiming a two week old calf so we got to get that thing out of the way heifers are not always the best mothers at first. They don't really know what's going on. So we've got an older calf in here and I didn't think it'd be a problem, but she's claiming it now, which is ridiculous, but we got to get her cleaning up this calf. Girl, I think you know that's not your calf. This one can stay. And she's bagging down a little, so she's getting a little bit closer and then we'll be done with the heifers, but I'm gonna have to pen up these heifers, get them out of here, so them two can bond and actually figure out what's going on. You get. Yeah, you just focus on that calf. That calf's going to have a friend, but they don't need to be friends quite yet. I want that heifer to get acclimated to her calf before they get all mixed up because she just took off chasing that calf. So I know that heifer just had her first calf ever, and I didn't know what all was going on, and I kind of just barged in on them. But with heifers like that, I kind of have to step in and see what's going on because that calf when i came out here it was just uh gasping for air in the bubble it didn't know how to breathe air yet but we're doing good now think a two week old calf that its mom would not want anything to do with the new one and this one would know exactly who the two week old calf is over there. 
I don't understand it, but I'm gonna split them up. I don't know if I want the new pair up here or the old pair up here kicked out. Which one to kick out? Whichever is easiest. Which honestly, I don't know which one would be easiest because if I get the brand new calf, I don't think she's gonna follow me. And that new calf isn't gonna walk very far. The old calf can definitely walk and run right past the gate a million times. So we'll just see what they do. Got the gate set. See who wants to come in here. I think the new pair will probably be the easiest to get in there. And I know some of you might think that I'm intervening. Intervening? Is that the inner? Some of you might think that I'm doing too much here. But I'm going to intervene because these heifers are both claiming each other's calves. And I like for heifers to be acclimated with their calf pretty good. Had two cows that I paired out a few days old and they both flip-flopped calves. Kind of took me a minute to figure out that that was going on. Because then I thought, well, if you're nursing on that cow, then where's that cow's calf? And took me a minute, but they, they even trade. But my question is why? Why, why trade calves? I mean, it's your, it's your calf. Makes it easier for me. Hey, little girl. Hey, little girl. Your mom just left you in that cold sleeping bag? I know. I know. Don't act like you're protective or anything. Cause you don't even know what you're protecting. Okay, calf, let's go. Let's see if mom follow if you follow me and your mom follows you, that's perfect. This is how you move cattle. You stay back there. Come on, little whippersnapper. Good job, little calf. I know, you don't want moved, but... This is a little baby. Oh, you're slipping right at the end. Oh! Well, get your baby. That'll keep them separated for a little bit. That can't hurt. Here comes the other cow running over. I don't know why she'd be cleaning off this calf. You only need one a year, girl. Get in there. Well, now that that's taken care of, I'd like to Go check the rest of the cows. It's windy out today. We actually got uh, maybe eight hundredths of an inch last night, so we got quite the downpour. Actually, in town, they got, I guess, a half inch. And then the next town over, they got a half inch as well. I mean, we don't have any dust today, but we're gonna have dust tomorrow. There's a few more rain chances coming up, so hopefully something comes of it. But it said it was raining all night last night. No, it wasn't. Just misting. Oh. Okay, hat was taken off by a wire that slipped down. Oh, okay, I understand now. Panel fell down on the wire, pulled that deal that used to be up there. Okay, well. 
okay. So I guess coming out here to the pears right off the bat, there was a calf that was born out of a cow and I figured I'll keep this cow one more year. I'll get one more calf out of her. Well, she had that calf and I wondered if that cow was milking because she was in rough shape. She's not milking very much at all, if she is at all. So 975 is bumming on cows right there. Another special calf we have out here is the calf that we sprayed in its eye to clear out. Well, that calf's doing good. In fact, he is out of where he's supposed to be. He crawled through the fence, but he's doing well too. We just got to get him back in. He's hiding. Oh, he was close. So he made it back in. Uh, if you've been watching the videos, you might remember tagging that calf. He was kind of known as the dramatic calf. Ah. <laughs> what a dramatic little animal. <laughs> then pairing him out was a big pain because I couldn't get him out of the little pen up at the house. I eventually did, but he'd just take off everywhere. Then he had the eye, then he had this deal. So I think he likes the, I, I just think he likes attention. There's another calf around here that I'm pretty excited about. My favorite cow is 915 here. She's kind of my buddy. And I've been waiting and waiting for her to have an all red heifer calf that I can keep. Yeah, don't lick any of that on me. But she had an all red heifer calf somewhere around here. It's hard to breed the white out of their faces, but she did it. She's the cow that does not let us tag her calves. So we had to drag her calf on the back of the pickup. She's fairly quiet now. Our cold calf that we put in the bathtub, 932 right there. He's doing well. Good job, buddy. <laughs> You're laying like a little seal. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. So this cow, you might remember, had a set of twins, 912. There's a little heifer twin. And she's got syrup, and we took Waffle. Waffle, our bottle calf, we bottled him up at the house for maybe a week and a half and then we brought him out here to the cows to where he could start drinking bumming on cows. Well, one night I came out here, he wasn't doing too good and uh, he seemed dehydrated. Well, I gave him electrolytes, he started perking up. The next morning when I went to go check on him, he was laying flat. Took Waffle to the vet because uh, he needed fluids. So to get an IV in him, took him to the vet. But the next morning he was up and down, sucked a bottle down, and they called me and said he's ready to go. And then unfortunately, all of a sudden, he got a lot worse. And we lost our dear friend, Waffle. And uh, so I had him posted to see what was wrong. And it turns out he had a big liver which means he was trying to metabolize like he wasn't getting enough nutrients. But I just don't understand that. Uh, I don't understand. He was on cows, he was bumming on cows. He was, shoot, a month old, perfectly fine. Then he wasn't. And then he was good to pick up at the vet clinic and suddenly he dies on me. 
so it's kind of a mystery. So we lost our friend Waffle, but got to look on the bright side. We got a bunch more calves. In fact, we're still even on calves to ca calf to cow ratio because Waffle was a twin. Everything else has been doing great out here. Losing calves is hard, especially a bottle calf that you're taking care of, looking for twice a day, but it's part of the deal. And it's tough to share sometimes, but you guys deserve to know that we lost our special little waffle calf. Well, that's all I got for you. Just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on how cabin's been going. It's been going great is how it's been going. I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. Remember Jesus loves you and I hope to see you next time right here behind the wire.